going, Reavers? I'm Daniel. This is Isaac. We are aquascaping the Red Sea Peninsula tank today. It's been long overdue. These rocks have been sitting on the floor. They're getting in our way. Um, <laughs> we wanted to bring you guys the best rocks possible, and we wanted to use them in our displays at the same time. So we've been really pleased. The only problem with these rocks is they're so awesome, it's hard to pick the perfect piece because every piece looks perfect. Um, I want lots of room, lots of nooks and crannies for the fish, all the little gobies and the different shrimp that we're going to have in this tank, but at the same time I want you to be able to see them. So the whole point of the peninsula tank is to be able to walk around and I want optimum viewing angles for everybody while giving perfect flow and a good reef environment for all the inhabitants. So we don't want to stress anybody out and we want to stock this tank. So giving the fish places to hide, smaller places for the smaller fish, larger places for the larger fish, um, will keep the stress levels down when we put so many tanks in this aquarium. So I do plan on having every single tank that we can fit in here, uh, minus the unicorn, he just is so big that he's not gonna be over here. But my purple tang, my Achilles tang, my Chevron tang, I am actually gonna bring the tangs I have from home because they're like my little pets and now I'm here all day at the store. Um, it just makes sense. I feel bad, they wait for me all day. They're sitting in the corner of the tank. But um, one more thing I wanted to show you guys, super, super cool, is that we got all of our front windows done yesterday and super excited to finally show this off. But one more project done out the way and it looks stunning. Look at you guys, anyone who's a fan reading books, you'll understand look it up but if you look closely you can see it and I have the submarine over here so that's the Nautilus for those of you who don't know um, but yeah I'm super excited for that and our sign over here which I don't have open yet but it's up so I just got to put the hours on the door they're sitting over here I've been reluctant to put these up because I'm so afraid that once I put these hours up uh, people are gonna be like why aren't you open it says 7 p.m. And until we can hire some more people at nighttime, we're kind of shorthanded. But otherwise, you'll just see me here when you come in. So our bait is doing really well. He seems very happy, um, loves his new home. This Cobalt Aquarium, one of the simplest to set up. You can set it up in five minutes and go home with a fish and have an awesome aquarium that day. So very, very cool unit. Um, let's go peek over here at Isaac and see what he's doing. I. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of ideas for this tank and at the same time it's hard to make them all all come true in one tank so there's so many different aquascaping techniques and one of my favorites honestly is Tonga Rock so I always want to do a tank with just Tonga but that'll have to be another tank so so yeah so that's exciting we are gonna have like I said some special things with this tank over here we have freshwater plants coming in hopefully in the next week or two um, it's a lot of adjustment when you bring in new livestock. So not only do we have to train the staff, but we all also have to set up every system just so it has the proper requirements. And, you know. So check out this awesome aquascape in the making. I love the big overhangs. There's always, um, different corals I like that are non-photosynthetic that I like to put in there. So like sun corals, I love getting current through a cave and then you put a nice big colony of sun corals on there and they look absolutely stunning. But check it out. Look at that. So I'm gonna do another walkthrough guys. Um, just wanted to show you a quick update. The carts are coming along. We've been hustling to get this all done for you but there's just so many details that I forgot about. You know, just overflow boxes, the wiring for the carts, the plumbing, it's, it's just a lot. Um, but progress is coming there. So you can see here, the wood is in. You get a little bit more private intimate setting now when you're looking at frags. We didn't want to go with the big troughs. We were afraid that they would just be overwhelmed. And here, each coral is going to get individual attention. So. It's really nice, you get to walk around and see everything right there. So I cannot wait, I'm looking forward to that. And then on the side, you got the amazing bossy sumps, and each sump is gonna match the tank. 
So that's really cool there. And, and that's just my little update. So I don't know if I showed you guys the hologram. I don't know if that works on the camera, but I will try real quick. We'll see if it'll work. So I keep on plugging it because people keep walking by. So don't mind the mess if I'm So one of the things that we like here is we love these um, power boxes. So I love to, each one has its own individual switch. So you just have to hit it over here. It lights up. As soon as that happens, hologram machine will turn on. Now I do have two holograms back to back, but I just turned on one so you guys could see it real quick. And I'm working on, now the frame rate on this camera is a little off so you can't see the hologram, you just see that weird flickering effect. But, but yep, that's a jellyfish. And there's all the fish swimming. Much, much cooler in person. So thanks for watching guys, it's just a quick update. As always, happy reefing. Until next time, stay tuned for more to come. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.